All right, good evening. I'm going to work on my Across the Decades project, and this is for the 1940s. This is a recording of a live stream, so if you're watching on YouTube, I am talking to real people in the chat. Um, and feel free just to fast forward. It is in real time, so it will be a long video and no editing. So we're at the 1940s for May, and I kept my research fairly limited because I knew exactly what I was going to work on. So for the fashion, it was more utilitarian, uh, square shoulders, dresses came up, and they were kind of just at below the knee. Start to see more pants. Um, inventions. I was surprised knowing that this is World War II time, how many games came out of this time period. More after World War II, but um, Silly Putty, Slinky, Frisbee, Color TV, Scrabble, Clue were all games that came out during the uh, 40s. The jukebox, aerosol sprays, duct tape, the Jeep. Um, some of your first uh, computers were starting to come out. Tupperware, the atomic bomb, the bikini, kitty litter, instant photography, disposable diapers, Velcro, microwaves, um, the use of blood banks, penicillin, and nylons. And the history, I could have really gone into detail, but I... I mean, the obvious focus is World War II continues and the U.S. enters the war uh, after the bombing of Pearl Harbor in 1940. Uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt was elected for a third term as president. Then after the war, you have the GI Bill. The architecture um, was mid-century modern was starting to show up. After the war, you see a use of glass. You're also seeing cookie cutter houses, like neighborhoods that pop up where everything is out in the suburbs and it all is matching. So the colors that I'm going to focus on are kind of more the red, white, and blue because it's patriotic. Um, and I'm going to do a portrait of Rosie the Riveter. So this is the photograph that I was using as a reference photo. And I know that I'm going to use this plaid in the background. And I have a piece of, I think it's deli paper or tissue. It may, it may be, I don't know. Ange sent this. And I noticed it's got a postal stamp for 1940. So I thought that I'd use pieces of this in the background with this gingham on top of it and I'm gonna do this in a creamy color I was gonna do white but I think I'm gonna keep it um, a little bit more vintage color so and I've already cut out the scrapbook paper I'm gonna use for her scarf the rest of her I'm probably gonna paint so I thought we'd start with laying in the background So I'm going to use some buttermilk to start us out. And then I think I'm going to add in a little bit of the white pearl, which isn't really that white, just to give it some shimmer. And then I'm going to drop a couple drops of the raw sienna to warm it up. A lot of this will end up being covered up, but I just want it to give a base coat.
around her before I put those papers on. And then we can glue the tissue down. Yeah, I thought I'd put her in kind of a navy or denim um, jumpsuit. It's a lot of them more that kind of that worked in the factories. take this oh there's a tay tay hair I get that off she's sleeping so she'll probably not even realize I've been in here for a while watching Ange so she walked away I'm out of school, which means I can do more impromptu streams. And work on some projects. Okay, I have a little bit of paint left, so I think I'm going to add a little bit more of the raw sienna and maybe, oh, dang. let me get that or it'll be lost. The magicals. So I was telling them, Eileen, I got the autumn set and the haunted house set. So we're ready to try to play with the poor. Ooh. That's not good. I just laid the paintbrush right on that tissue. I'm going to add a little bit of splendid gold. I'm going to get some metallic shimmer in this background. And I think I want to take it up a, a notch. So we'll play around with the magicals and see if how we can create a pour with them and not lose the luminous quality. Yeah, I like that color better. It's a little more what I was looking for. Um, I have some stickers that I may use that are vintage kind of Americana. And it's got that darker color.
I may. I'm glad you found it. I'm pretty easy to find because it's just my name. Same with YouTube, because I put all the streams on YouTube after I'm done, and my channel is just Debbie Epps over there, too. And I'm not really worried about where that handkerchief is going, because it's going to get covered. Okay, let's put that in the water. All right, I'm going to clean this. I'm going to move that, and I'm going to clean this up just a little bit. I think when baby wipes dry out and you get them wet again... I think they're worse. Like, they seem more soapy, if that's possible. Do a paper towel. All right. So now background's done. Get the glue open. That was like a He-Man act. Alright, I know I want... I know this is going here. And this is going here. I'm not worried about the fact that it's hitting the scarf because I have. And I know this is going down here. And then this is going somewhere in here. So I think I want this 1940s. I'm going to cut this before I tear it. I'm just going to tear this. And, uh, I think that'll work. And then I think I'll put this in here. I'll hang it off a little bit. It won't be. So I'll actually salvage that right there, that part there. So we'll put that down, and then we'll put some of the paper. Actually, I may use this piece over here and this piece over here. And then I'm going to put this piece where it's just the writing. I think I'm going to tear. tear a piece just to sort of stick in here. And again, I'm not worried about the... Because that'll get covered up by the handkerchief. And then I'll determine where I want to put the red pieces. Okay. So let's put the tissue down.
blue brush. All right, I'm gonna put the blue down here because I know this is definitely going here. just a little bit or I'm going to hit her face which that I don't want to do I know that little corner piece going right here And I know this piece is going up in this corner. And I like the fact that the elements are going to cross over each other. And we'll put this piece this corner put this down here I think I'm going to trim this so it doesn't stick out as much and put it right there I'm not going to worry about right up here because it's going to be matted. So some of this I'm fussy, worrying about and fussing about may not even show up in the mat as much if I choose to mat it. And we'll just see. Okay, so let's put down... Handkerchief while we're getting ready. Do that. And then I'll add details to that paper later with the matte medium. Okay. I think that's good for a start. Put that in the water. Put the lid on there for right now. All right, let me dry this real quick.
All right. So let me trim from the back these little pieces of tissue that are hanging off. have some other background elements that I might use on it later that I have over to the side but for right now that's what I want to start with okay I'm going to base coat her hair in just a light gray it's a dark blackish color but I want this light gray to pick up and be some highlights probably so I'm going to start with a light gray so she's going to look like elderly Rosie the Riveter right now Yeah, even if you don't um, do this style, it, it, you can, I mean, Dee Dee's the master. Of blending and doing portraits. I'm going to probably use some colored pencils. I think this paper is smooth enough. Scarf's not wanting to stick. Glue that down again in just a minute. Okay. That brush in the water. Um, I think I'll even take and put just a little bit of this in where her eyebrows are going to go. Alright, so now I'm going to put in her outfit. We're, in the picture it's got a red shirt, but I don't want a red shirt. I want a, like a denim blue. That's not what I want. So this is a sapphire blue. I'm going to add a little bit of this to the gray. And then I have a little bit of a blue gray. I'm going to stick in there. I'm clean the brushes I had in there. I'm 
fix that um, and see what I have. That's not a bad denim color. And again, some of this won't even show. It'll be under the mat. I've never, um, I didn't like Periscope watching it. I don't know. I just, and I've never gone and watched on Twitch. just a little bit more. And this is matte, so it'll dry. And I can use the colored pencils over it if I choose to go that way. This brush may be too, I think that brush is too big right now for the area I'm trying to get in. I have not heard if Paul is streaming or not streaming. I came on earlier in the hopes that maybe she would. be able to okay let that dry there for a minute I'm gonna move this to the side and get a piece of paper. There's a lot of blue paint.
And I think I'll grab a piece of sewing tissue and a stencil. today. And I'll just stencil this extra blue on this tissue here. Now I know Jen and I talked on Twitter yesterday and um, with her new job, she's not going to be able to stream on Thursdays. And she said the only time that she would be able to stream was Saturday nights or Friday nights around 8. Which is when I have been streaming on the weekends. But I told her I will go on earlier. I'm completely flexible. Especially with the summer. And if Paula's going to be off every other Saturday, maybe, I guess, it sounds like, her hours flip-flop every other week, she might start streaming in her normal time, too. So I'll probably stream earlier on Saturdays in that event. I was just coming on at a time that I was usually done running errands. So I'll use that in something later. I'll just, and we'll add to it later if we need to have extra paint. That way it just doesn't go to waste. Let me move that. Clean this off. That brush in the water there. All right, so now I'm ready to add in some flesh tone. In a few minutes. I'm going to take a little bit of just gel, Liquitex gel, and see if I can't get that scarf to lay down. Okay. I know for her eyes, I'm going to put in just a little bit of sap green or green gold and let that dry. This is the green gold. I know if we let the eyes go too long, Dot doesn't like it. All right, and then I'm going to I don't know if I like the darker color, to be honest. But I don't dislike that put it on there and then kind of blot it that might be good because I'll hit it with color pencil or marker later and that's just the fluid acrylics get that in there and we'll get black here in just a minute I'm 
I'm just going to take an, add a little bit of black in here. And then I put the glob of water. Let me try to get some of that up. Sorry if my head is in the way. Okay. I'm going to put on Craft Smart. It's kind of a coral. It's what I'm going to use for flesh right now. For a base. And I don't know what I want to do with her earring. I'm thinking about using a button. Yeah, I did start a little early, CB. Ange was done. I tweeted. I didn't start too early. But about 30 minutes, maybe. I think that's too peachy. So I'm going to add some white to that. Yeah, that's a lot better. And tone it down. It's Rosie the Riveter. TV is what I'm working on. And I'm going to let my lines kind of show on some of this. I'm just going to go over the lips, too.
trying to keep the mix pretty much the same and work fast. Like I said, it's just a base coat. It's more white. I think I want to switch brushes just for a moment to get in this area. Kind of along the collar. Flip it around. I'm not sure exactly how I want to shade and finish her off. I want to use colored marker, uh, the markers, the pit pens, or I want to use colored pencils. kind of lightening, adding some light in this area here. There's a little more white to the mix. I saw this area right here I didn't get. Okay. Let me put her aside for just a second. The munitions factory dot.
All right, and then I don't know what. Let's see. Let's find it. A different stencil. I think I'll use the same sponge. And if a little blue comes through, more the better. Put this white. And a little bit of the peach really just kind of disappeared. Okay. So there's that little bit added on there. All right, let me clean up because I think her base is good. I think her base coat is perfectly fine. Now it's just a matter of putting the paints away. Let me put those away real quick and clear up some room. I did have some metallic blue that I could put in here, but I don't think I will because I think it'll interfere with, depends how I'm going to do it. And I can't make up my mind. Like I said, if I put those up. away I'll have more room because now it's going to be more about like colored pencils or pit markers A lot of these paints I had out, I'm not even going to use. Brushes in the water. Get that all kind of done and out of the way. Stalling. Some gray mix fell on that blue. Okay. So I'm going to attempt the colored pencils, I think. I'm going to start with the hair. And the denim. Let's start with the denim.
And so the paper is smooth enough if I can control the pressure that I put on. And it's not what I'm used to. It's not my, um, let me move the camera in. It's not a medium that I work in all the time. Well, hardly at all. Some of these are dull. So before I go to the face or the hair, I'll mess with the denim. Because I can always um, cover it with and go back to the pit pins. some of my lines back in with the lighter. A whole lot of detail. Let me grab, I think I want a gray too. I need a different way store. They're still in the original case. That's not dark enough. some of that out, soften that. I need to probably go more that way.
I'm not gonna I'm gonna mix and blend some of this. Um, oh, and I guess I need to like cover the whole painted area. Then I want to put some of that lighter color in here. I don't know. I think it's doing what I want to do up close. Want a light area in here. And then a darker area. And this is darker. medium.
think I'll leave it. Get a little bit of the white in there. So I think I color too hard. And I may still coat these and hit a coat with the pit markers. What's the tip on that one? Let me sharpen that. Okay. medium color. So, it's not too bad. It looks like denim. I'm reasonably pleased with what I have so far. Um, again, I may coat it with the gel medium and hit some pit pen just to be in my comfort zone.
white spot in here. some of those Okay, so I'm satisfied with that. Put the blues away. Um, I might leave that blue out. Yeah, I feel like it looks like a enough like a denim. Here's gonna be have some. I don't think I want to get rid of that blue. I think I'll, I don't want to give her blue hair. Okay. I'm just going to start with the neck, like a next gray value up. start working I don't have gray down here that needs to be down here
Okay. I will put some white in here where the roll. take some oh before I do that I better just darken a few lines the same color Okay, I don't think I'm going to go in here and darken her eyebrows a little. sharpen that again. I'm going to keep darkening areas. Okay, and then I think I want a little, that's a warm gray. I had a brown. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. It rolled up. I think I want to add some brown tones in.
get some of that blue. Okay, I think I'm done with that. that white just to, there's nothing else that blends it a little bit. All right, now let's go. I don't think I want to use the cool gray. All right, this is the, the black. Okay. And I'm going to put black along here because she's wearing eyeliner. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get that eyeliner in there. All right, I'm happy with the hair.
Okay. I think that's okay. All right, so now it's about the skin, the lips, the shadows. This is where I typically would walk away and let it sit overnight. Uh, she is sleeping somewhere. She came in when Ange was streaming and frolicked under the camera. And then she went and laid by my side of the bed because she got tired of waiting. We were taking way too long. Okay, that's a Now I've got to deal with the fleshy tones. And pick out the colors that I think. So she... Those may be too pink. I think I'm leaning towards these. And I need um maybe that? I don't know. This is where the layering of the skin that dust off. I really don't know. So I'm just going to start. This was what I don't want, the gray. No, don't like that. That is a new. I 
think this one that's worn down these two. I used to photograph as my and uh, cut my main outlines. color works okay. And this color, I think I'll come in with the lips in this. Blend it out. That way. Clean that off. It's got gray. Let me sharpen it too. Okay, and then I think I'm going to come in Okay, maybe a darker. come in with like the sepia maybe all right then I'll probably hit that like I said I'm probably gonna come back with some pit pens
don't like that color at all. Yeah, the model was is pretty. And this side is shadowed. I don't know about the the no, I'm not done with the nose. Um. Okay, let's see. A little bit up here just trying to add where I want to add some depth
again. All right, let me get in here and get a gray. Let me gray in here. And I think I'm going to take the white. soften it and there's gray in here this may need to be oh, I'm not really liking the ear but we got pit markers still to come Okay. Okay. Um, getting too pinky in some places so Okay.
Okay. Black in there, I'll lift. Why in here? I'll lift some of that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. We love you out here. Okay. I hate this ear part, so let me just... that again. Maybe that's better.
Okay. Okay, I almost think I need um, like a pail. Because there's a shadow, a pretty prominent shadow. Now I think I need a, a warm gray, maybe. Okay, I think I'm ready to say Indian here on as far as the markers go. And start with the adding some of my accents with my it pins. But I went way out of my comfort zone with this one. But I am pleased with the overall effect I got. I'm not done. Alright, so what I'm going to do is make sure there's no dust there. Add a coat of gel medium over the entire piece. I didn't touch her uh, scarf yet because I knew the colored pencils wouldn't really work there.
Okay, I think she has a pretty good coat on her face and her hair. on the glue. I'm actually not sure about down here. Now that I though I don't think I'm gonna do too much to her clothes. Because I'm pretty happy. I just feel like I can get some more um control over some of the shadows. No, she can come in. Over there, that where you want to go. There you go. Come on, Tay Tay. Oh, it's All right. Let me dry this. So I'm gonna turn on the heat gun. Yeah, I'm just not sure what colors to pick, Jean, and to to layer them. Where Dee Dee, it just she knows her skin tones and which colors work. Oh, uh, let me dry this in the air because Tay Tay wants to visit. Lay down, Tay Tay. Tay Tay. She's trying to figure out where she's going to go. Because there's not a lot of room for kitties over here. She's like, you have too much stuff in here, Mom. Quit bringing more. Yeah, there's no place on your table. I'm moving some of those photo albums so she can lay down on her other table. Okay. Just adding kind of up in the hairline. This is like a medium flesh.
I'm going to take a little bit of light flesh. I'm just kind of, I will tell you, it's sticking a little. get a little bit of uh, this cinnamon color that I use. Just warm it up a little bit. in there too.
Thank you, Sandy. pleased with that. Except for feel like she still needs more of a shadow under here. edge off of here. Maybe a black needs to go in here. I think that's what I'm going to have to use on the kerchief. Right, let me work on that for a minute. Some gray on there. Get my hands clean. I think the kerchief looks all right now. Let's stick a little glue in there in little places, I think.
Okay, and I wanna Okay. Blue off her scan there. You gotta keep when you use these you gotta keep cleaning your fingers so you don't pollute Thank you, Shauna. All right, and now I need a really light gray. I think I want this green. I'm going to go in and part of the eye there. And I'll add the eyelashes here in a minute. Just want to soften that just a little bit.
Okay, happy with her lipstick. All right, now I need to come in. And I want. Hmm. Maybe this will work. Add just a little shading in here. Kind of in a pale peach. And then a gray. Shadow. Then we need a highlight. back that some of that white. Rounder there. And I'm going to come back in with the black. Okay. I think it's too low is the problem. I'll just take it off. Back in. And try that again. I think it was too low. That was the crux of the problem. That was close. I like that better.
Okay. Okay. I need a little bit of, just a touch of red in there. I'm going to pull it down with that, darken that kind of. And then I'll come back. in a little white. Mm. Okay. I'm good with all the skin. The grays. She needs some eyelashes. Okay.
darker at the base or heavier. Okay, and then I'm going to do very little. See if I can lighten those without really smearing. Clean and damp. Baby. Sure, I don't have any. I think that's all right. Night, CB. All right, and let's uh, Air just a little bit. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. Okay. Hey, Tay's about to her limit.
like that right there. See what I mean about cap this. My hands are polluted. Tay Tay's in my lap. I'm going to go to the extra small. Put a little tendrils here and there, like they're escaping. Stray my brow hairs. she goes. Okay. Make sure get this cleaned up around the ear. She's done. I don't know if you can see on the screen. That just made her hair a little bit more painted. And there's her eyes. I think she's heavier on one side than the other. All right, let's see where the mat's going to fall and where I want to sign it. It's going to fall kind of just like that. So I think I'm going to sign it right here. And right, 1940s down here. I don't know if I'm going to use any of this stuff here I don't actually think so I think it's good just the way it is thanks dot So let's, I'm going to grab her right there 
flip the mat, get the tape. piece works there really well. And then one last piece. photographer and put her up for sale. Uh, 20s, definitely prohibition. 20s into the 30s, but more 20s is my favorite decade. I had this set aside. I'm tempted to put this on the, I kind of like it on the mat, y'all. Covers where I wrote 1940s, but I don't care about that. I think it makes it look interesting, a little different. Yeah, on the mat. And then what I'll need to do is take some, well, I've already attached her, but I might go in and put some powder, some baby powder on the back of the sticker. But we're up to the 19, we're through the 1940s and June is the 1950s. Moving through those decades. I think she turned out cute. Now, let me stop the recording. <laughs>